Good to have you back with us on The Cafe. She's a celebrated Kiwi graffiti artist with a fine arts degree. Internationally renowned for her stencil art, she has now joined forces with author Malcolm Clark to bring us the incredibly beautiful new children's book, To Mickey Tui. Welcome to The Cafe, Hayley King, a.k.a. Phlox. Thank Great to you. have you here. Thank you so much. And I'm going to show off a little bit. In my house, my very first piece of art I bought was a piece that you had done. No way. And I bought it in today <laughs> just to show off. Wow, that's impressive. To say thank you very much, because it's a beautiful piece. I love your work. It's so nice to have you here. Oh, thank you. Thank it you so beautiful. much. It is beautiful. I love the way, you... oh, look, I just had this in the car. Yes. I just carry this around. <laughs> just hanging out oh, in the car. Yeah. Like this whole thing, it's just staying in the car all the time. It is absolutely beautiful, that is. And the book's lovely. Now, Hayley, for those who don't know, Phlox, where does that name come from? Phlox comes from Phlox of Birds. This is obviously a, a theme in your artwork, Yeah, it isn't is. It? Yeah, the birds have just um, naturally occurred. I think as Kiwis, we have this love affair with our birds, so um, it was one of those natural things that um, started happening within the work, and now it's kind of part of the aesthetic. Yeah, and we have such beautiful native birds as well, don't we? Yeah, we do. We have an amazing array of native birds that, you know, they're just gorgeous, and we've really got to protect them. So this book is, is great for that. It's it's a lovely little story. Yeah, so how did it come about? Let's talk about the book. How did it happen? Um, well, Malcolm Clark, the writer, he approached me what seems like many years ago now, um, and he would uh, originally... Um, commissioned me to do an artwork for him um, quite a few years ago and we reconnected about three years ago and um, and this is the consequence of that first meeting. So, yeah, there so, you go. So it's been a long process it to has. get this book done. Yes, it has. I mean, the process that I um, take on as an artist is very hands-on. There's a lot of detail. There's a lot of craftsmanship involved. So um, what you see in those pages, um, you know, there's a lot of time that's gone into it. Yes, it's beautifully, and, uh, beautifully constructed and elaborate. What is the process? You know, how do you actually decide what you're going to what you're going to do? Well, the, the script, the story is already written, so I let the words um, help me to um, uh, create visuals for those, for that, for the words, you know. Mm. So um, my process involves stencil spray paint. So um, when you see most of the um, imagery, like the birds and the flowers, everything in the book is actually a really large scale stencil that I've hand cut and hand painted. Wow and then taken into Photoshop to create these compositions. So where are the actual originals? Um, some have sold, yep, and then some are lurking in the back doors, back corridors of my showroom. Oh, that'll yeah. do well. <laughs> the thing about this book too that's quite fascinating is that Malcolm actually, he lives in the UK, doesn't he? And he wrote this Correct. with you in mind to do the the illustrations already, which is seems like a, a rather unusual way. A Usually bit, yeah. they would write it, then they think about the illustrations. He obviously had you in mind at the very beginning. I think so, because um, we'd built that relationship from uh, many moons ago. And yeah, so he did, did have me in mind and I was only too happy to um, jump at the opportunity. Yeah. And it's more to being a bird than just flying. Yes, that is true. <laughs> How do you know you're a good artist? How do I know I'm a good artist? Yeah. I think because people tell me. <laughs> Because I hear it a lot and um, I mean I believe I'm a hard worker and that above everything else is, is really important to me. Nice. You started off as a graffiti artist, didn't you? And you've moved through and you've done a whole lot of different things. Um, commissions around the world as well. Yep. Uh, you've worked in Hong Kong, Berlin as well. I mean what's been the most unusual commission that you've got? Um, well, the Hong Kong one was pretty pretty interesting. I had to work in near 40 degree heat and yeah. it was outside. Hong Kong I was summer. Literally dripping. So um, yeah, I think it was a um, it was a physical challenge, you know. So it was. I think on the first day, I painted straight for nine hours in, in that heat. So. And what were you painting on? Um, I was painting outside down this walkway that led down to the beach at Stanley Beach. So um, yeah, it was a it was a great great experience because I could you know I was putting my art in a completely different environment for a completely new audience so we've got some of your art actually so let's have a look and um, cool. you can talk us through it oh, so whereabouts wow. is that one Oh, that one is in it's, Christchurch. That's beautiful, isn't it? Thank you. Yes, that was part of the Spectrum Street Art Show. Same with this one. This is indoor. 
So this was an installation that I did down there. So Christchurch has got two pieces. Just beautiful, so beautiful. Thank and you. you've got children as well, so your artist, um, Mummy. What do, what do the kids think about Mummy's artwork? Oh, well, I think it's just really normal to them, so they don't really have much to say about it. They've never <laughs> been in and accidentally added their own bits to Mummy's art? Um, <laughs> not yet, but I might jinx that, so yeah, <laughs> let's not go there. <laughs> and do you think you'll do more books? Yes, I definitely would love to do more books. We've talked about part two, so watch this space. Nice work. It's a child's book, but it's also a bit more than that too, isn't it? It's a little bit of a collector's piece, and mm. it's a bit of native New Zealand in the pages. And just quickly, um, is it harder to do a children's book than it is to do a piece of commissioned artwork? Because I suspect children can be quite judgmental, I yeah, guess. Yeah, well, I mean, the parents. I've <laughs> never really created artwork specifically for children so this was a massive learning curve and so far we've had amazing feedback from all sorts of kids and adults like you say so I think it was important for me to um, I guess appeal to such a wide dem demographic and a wide age group. Well you've done an absolutely beautiful job Thank it is you. an absolutely lovely book so congratulations Thank you should you. be very proud of it. Thank you so much for joining us Hayley and uh, Hayley's beautiful book Tamiki Tui is available in all good bookshops and for purchase online right now.